Have you ever wondered what it was like to stay in Paris and Las Vegas? I'm going to show you around. My name is Jennifer Sparks Savoy and I'm going to be your tour guide today. Let's not waste any time here. Let's go check in. Paris is a Caesars hotel and I booked it directly on the app. I chose Paris because I love it. This is personally my third stay here and it won't be my last. Look at this place. It's beautiful. You could use a self-check kiosk to check in or you could wait in line to talk to an actual representative. The room I was assigned is on floor 11. I knew ahead of time before I checked in that I was getting an upgrade. I'm so excited. I see the double doors. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to be amazing. I was all alone. I wish I had someone to share this with, but I have you guys coming along with me. So I'm pretty excited to show you. I'm hoping my resort tours and reviews are going to be helpful for people that are planning to go to Las Vegas and they really don't know which resort will be best for them. Also in this video today, we're going to be walking around, looking at some restaurants, the casino. I'm going to take you outside at night and in the next day, which will be tomorrow, I will be showing you the pool area. Paris is one of my favorite places to stay in Las Vegas for many reasons and I'll be sharing why throughout the video. So stick around and hang with me. We have a lot to see in this video, but in the meantime, let's just go appreciate this beautiful suite. I didn't even want to leave. I was like, oh my gosh, should I just get takeout and just hang out here? <laughs> I know I have to go experience Las Vegas, but look at this place. It's just wow. And this was the view from my room. Like seriously, one of the nicest views I've had in Las Vegas, hands down amazing this video was filmed early september 2023 it was before the mgm cyber attacks it was before f1 i'm just seriously behind getting my videos out this is a little mini bar proceed with caution you get a refrigerator that you could actually use the mini bar items in this case were above the refrigerator it. oh my god this is crazy There's a remote control, but no TV. If you put <laughs> the remote this. control on, this TV pops out of nowhere. I was like, what? <laughs> Let's continue our tour here. This was like an L-shaped. It was a little confusing. It wasn't like a standard square suite. So it was kind of cool just to see like where everything went. So bear with me. I'm gonna try to talk to you as I show you what's going on here. Uh, how did I get the suite? Honestly, they called me. They said because, you know, they had availabilities for the suite and I was only staying for one night, would I be interested to upgrade for $25 to a suite? I was like, hell yeah, sign me up. So I knew this going in. I didn't have to ask anybody. I didn't have to do any kind of $20 trick. I, I, I don't like doing that personally myself at check-in. I, I you know when I do get upgrades, I always have money in case somebody does give me an upgrade to tip people, but I don't like to put them on the spot. And certainly myself, I'm personally embarrassed by doing it. The upgrade thing, that just deserves a whole new video. I will be working on that, how I get upgrades in the near future. But this is about Paris, so let's get back to that. Everything, luxurious, beautiful wallpaper. We'll be seeing and talking more about the suite when we get back, but right now we're gonna go find something to eat. I'm starving. One of the many things I love about Paris is there's a ton of places to eat, all different price levels. Another thing I love is the aesthetics. When you're walking around there, you know you're somewhere special. It is not basic. It is not generic. It is very themed in a beautiful way. Anytime you ask anybody where to dine in Paris, everybody says Monami Gabi. Here is a little peek inside. They also have outside dining on the strip, which is amazing if you catch the weather right. Even walking around the casino, it's very themed. It's like Venetian, but at a much smaller and less expensive scale. It's gonna be cheaper to stay here than it does to stay at the Venetian Palazzo. Do you personally come to Paris to dine? Do you stay here? Where would you tell me to dine? Because I'm just aimlessly walking around trying to figure out where to go, to go eat somewhere. So I decided to go check out Alexa's. I've dined here before in the past and had fun. I was here with my cousin Pinky, but you know what? I have a great room. So like if I'm not digging the vibe, I could just get takeout and bring it back to my room, which was what I ended up doing. I ended up getting the chicken sandwich, which was pretty good. I'll leave my video that I took of my stay here with Pinky at the end of this video, but I can't stay in my room. I have to show you Las Vegas. This is what it looks like outside at night 
in front of Paris. It's beautiful. Location is everything when it comes to Paris. It's perfect. Depending on where your room is in Paris, you may be able to watch the Bellagio Fountain Show right from your room. Other neighbors of Paris would be Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino, as well as the Miracle Mile Shops. Great place to go for cheap dining. On the other side of Paris, you'll find the Horseshoe Resort and Casino, which has an indoor pedestrian walkway right from Paris. You don't even need to go outside. That has a monorail station. That is super convenient if you want to explore all of Las Vegas. The attention to detail on this building is just extraordinary. I just love it here. It's so beautiful. Paris is a Caesars property and is probably one of their more expensive ones, but still, it's not very expensive to stay here. The best way to get discounted or even comp rooms is to get the Caesars Rewards card and use it when gambling. I personally don't even gamble that high and I get comp rooms in Las Vegas and Atlantic City. I'm coming back to Vegas to stay at Paris for five nights in December. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go take a little walk around and I'm gonna go back to my fancy suite. <laughs> Get a good night rest. Here's another look at the lobby reception area. I love it. It is probably one of the prettiest lobbies in Las Vegas, in my opinion. Maybe Venetian Palazzo. That one's really nice too. <laughs> anyway, this is also where you're going to find the showroom. I'm going to go back to my suite, maybe enjoy a movie and a bath and get up super early and go take you guys on a tour of the pool bath was lovely and so were the towels they were really plush and very luxurious okay it's the next morning already we're gonna go take a walk it's probably like five in the morning now I do these super ridiculous things where I get up really early because it's really hard filming when there's a lot of people around I try to keep the camera as steady as possible when you're trying to dodge people it gets a little like nauseating to watch we're gonna go take a walk around and see what's open for breakfast. We're in Paris. I mean, the breakfast, hello, crepes, croissants, like, oh my gosh, the best food ever over here. They used to have a buffet that was absolutely awesome. They don't have it, unfortunately, anymore, but they do have a Vanderpump cocktail garden. Look at this place, it's gorgeous. Across from Vanderpump, you could find Americano, which is open breakfast, lunch, dinner, and late night. Dining there, you almost feel like you're in an outside cafe, even though you're inside. <laughs> Paris definitely has a cool vibe. Also in this area, you're gonna find La Central Bar. This is located pretty close to the lobby and is a good place to come and chill out in case your room isn't ready on your arrival. They also have poker machines at the bar. Those are fun to play. Here's a look at Cafe Belle. There is no food court per se at Paris, but there is a lot of quick serve options. If you are looking for a food court atmosphere, Horseshoe right next door has one. I'm not sure why anybody would want to go to a food court though. Look at all this. <laughs> Total yum. Cafe Bell is typically a very busy spot. It's located right off of the hotel elevators. Getting off the elevators, if you walk the other way towards the Horseshoe, you're going to find all these other restaurants and stores. We're going to walk down that way. We're not going to go to the horseshoe. I'm just going to show you how to get there because that will be the easiest way to access the monorail. As I mentioned earlier, Paris did have a fabulous buffet called Le Village Buffet. It was down this area over here. It had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It was wonderful, but it's not here anymore. <laughs> but they have a lot of other restaurants that they've added, including Martha Stewart's new restaurant, The Bedford. This is the very first restaurant that she has created and opened, and the style of the restaurant is inspired by her home in Bedford, New York, which is a farmhouse. The Bedford is open for dinner and is also open for lunch on the weekends. You just gotta love strolling down the Paris Boulevard very early in the morning with the cobblestone walkways and the lamppost and the little boutiques and the eateries. It's just, just really cool. <laughs> and the fact that this place makes crepes makes it even cooler. As we approach closer to where the horseshoe is, closer to where the conventions are, there was a piano bar here, which is now changing into a cigar bar. It probably has changed by now. This video was filmed in September. If you are still with me, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Paris is one of my top picks for a moderately priced resort. As you can see, I absolutely love it here. If you want to see more videos like this, I will leave a playlist at the end of this video. Just click on the playlist and it'll take you all to my resort tours of Las Vegas. Don't go anywhere. We have the cabana tour and the pool tour coming up next. If you're enjoying this video, can you do me a favor and please hit the subscribe button and the like button on the video that will help my channel grow. Thank you so much.
also now open between Paris and the Horseshoe. You can find Guy Fieri's Flavor Town. We are now approaching the Horseshoe. This is where you're going to be finding the nearest monorail station, as I mentioned before. Great way to get around the east side of Las Vegas. We're not going to cover the Horseshoe today. It's just too long of a video. I already had to cut so much out. But here's a little spin around to show you what the entrance looks like when you come in from Paris. And look, there's a bride and groom walking over there. <laughs> You never know what you're gonna see in Las Vegas. Okay, now I wanna go find something to eat. Probably grab it and bring it back to my room because I have that gorgeous suite. I have to check out of here today and go to Excalibur. That is gonna be a rough transition after having this beautiful suite. I was in Vegas for 14 days and I moved 10 times. I literally am living out of a suitcase, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. It makes a lot of great memories and it makes a lot of great videos. I know now I should have gotten a crepe. I don't know why I didn't. I didn't do that. I ended up going to the Americano. They have a little takeout bar. And I ended up ordering just like an egg and cheese sandwich. And I brought it to my room, which why not? Look at this view. <laughs> why eat anywhere else? <laughs> Another big fail on my part. Why didn't I get a croissant? I was in Paris. My sandwich was on a brioche bond, but a croissant would have been definitely more appropriate. The sandwich, eh, it was okay. I probably wouldn't go there again. While I was dining with my breakfast, I sat on the couch and I put on the TV. And I, I like to enjoy these like channels where they, it's about the resort and other Caesars properties. I find it entertaining and informative. I'm going to let you listen for a minute. Request housekeeping and service and much more. You can now text someone for anything you need or want. When you check in or text the number on your screen. It's even easier to enjoy your stay. Well, you know, with the best part, Zip lining and the high roller are at the nearby Link Promenade. They were even advertising the suite I was staying in. I highly recommend upgrading to this suite if given the opportunity. Like I said, for me, it was a steal. It was like 25 extra dollars. How could you not? Not sure if this happened already or if it's still being renovated, but Paris is expanding rooms. Jubilee Tower from Horseshoe is now going to be part of Paris. This is really exciting news. The rooms are going to be bigger and there's also going to be balconies. I'm so excited. I'm hoping that I can get a room there next month. Really, really would love to get a video of that. I wanted to get that information in somewhere, but back to our suite. As you can see, everything is just very lush and luxurious in the suite. It's not perfect. It has the little quirks here and there. Definitely nothing bad, nothing gross. Everything was really clean. I just really love Paris. I really highly recommend it. A lot of people ask me how I approach the upgrade situation. When I get to the desk, I just ask if there's any complimentary upgrades. I have my credit card, my license, and I have a tip in my hand. I don't present them the tip. I don't make them feel uncomfortable. I just have it there just in case they say yes. In the event that they say that there are no complimentary rooms and that happens, I ask, do you have any for an additional cost? If it's an extra $25 or even $50, if it's something amazing, then I'll go for it and I'll give them the tip. If it's like, you know, an extra $200 for a junior suite, I say, no, thank you. I take the room that they gave me and I walk away <laughs> pretty much. So I, I kind of feel like for me, that's like the easiest way without putting me or them on the spot. If you have any tips that you would like to add, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Now it's time to check out the Pool of Paris. Forgot your suntan lotion or sunglasses? No problem, there is a pool boutique. It is nine o'clock, I am here for opening. I kinda wanna see what it's like, how busy it gets, how fast the chairs fill up. The Pool of Paris is on the rooftop. There was a line to get in, but nothing quite like MGM Grand or Mandalay Bay. Those lines get crazy in the morning. The pool here is nice. It's nothing like those two other pools. There's no lazy river. There's nothing dramatic. There's no beach. There's, you know, it's pretty much a very large octagon pool and cabanas and seating and a bar. There's, it's really not that big, but it's very pretty. It's Parisian, like kind of garden type theming. The cabanas are nice. They're not amazing, but they're nice. They're well kept. When I was here a couple years ago visiting with my cousin Pinky, we had rented a cabana and we had a really fun day. It was awesome. There are also pavilions as well, which also provide air conditioning. That is fantastic in the summer because it gets wicked hot here. I don't care what they say that there's no humidity. It's like when you're in the sun all day, it's hot. One very large pool. That's it, just one. And there's supposedly two small hot tubs. I didn't see them though. Paris also has day beds for rent for the day, which have safes, which is pretty cool. 
the biggest selling point for me with the Paris pool is the view. I mean, it's amazing. I'm not sure if I got the opportunity to mention this, but the Eiffel Tower is also a viewing area and has a restaurant there as well that you could access through the casino. Here is a look at the Paris Pavilion's reserved seating. There are also a limited number of regular chairs at no additional cost. Those are available only on a first come first serve basis. Easiest time to find seating is obviously really early in the morning or later in the day, like three o'clock when people are checking into their hotel room. The Paris pavilions, cabanas, day beds, and regular chairs that you could purchase are obviously, you know, if you go on the weekend during the summer, it's gonna be more expensive than if you wanna go say September during the week. They say it's open year round, still call, find out if it's gonna be open because like everything else in Vegas, things change. When we were visiting Vegas in March, we were staying at the Flamingo and the Flamingo pool was closed, but they let us go next door to another Caesars property, the Link Hotel. That pool was open and they let us go in there. And then the next day, the Flamingo pool was open. So, you know, it's good to find out ahead of time, but it is cool that they will let you use another pool at another Caesars property if their pool is not open. A lot of people don't realize this, but it does get cold in winter in Las Vegas. It could shoot down to 20, 30 degrees. All right, another thing we need to cover is food and drink. You are not allowed to bring your own items in. They do, however, have servers that will go around and take your order. Oh, I forgot about these. This is an extra charge for these cabanas. These are called High Noon. They have like games and you get like, you know, I don't know, some sort of take home something. I don't know. I didn't get the details of these, but you want to check it out if you want more of a, a, a higher elevated <laughs> cabana experience. They have that for an additional charge as well. But as far as the food goes, they do have servers that come around or you could go to the bar as well and get your, you know, frosty drinks or your beer buckets or whatever you're fancy and go have a fabulous day. I have to go back to my room and go pack up and get ready for my next adventure at Excalibur. I want to show you right now the difference in the, I don't know, it might be different different times of year, but I was here in September. It's very shady in the morning. This is like 11 o'clock and most of the pool area is shady. So I just wanted you guys to know that if you want sunshine early in the morning, go sit over there by the Eiffel Tower. I have some time before my next check-in. This is the time I usually use to use my, I like to call it my casino donation, <laughs> where I have to go play a little bit because they give me comp rooms. So I have to like, you know, actively put some money into their business. The Paris is great though. It, it feels so good to make a video that I feel so happy about. <laughs> Believe me, I hate saying negative things about places. I really do. But I like to be honest in my videos. The location, you got it winter here. It is in a really good location. You are like really good center strip here. To view more of my resort tours or my resort tours of Paris, click on one of these playlists right here. Just, just click on it. It'll take you right to my videos. So whatever you do, book somewhere, anywhere. Pack your bags and go. Vegas is awesome. This is your host, Jennifer Sparks. Thank you for hanging with me. Happy travels to you.